All right, here we are, post Austin Record Convention, and this is my haul. Paid a hundred bucks for this stuff. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Where's the records? There they are. It's all about just a few records right there. <laughs> and I bought all this other electronic stuff. And now you're probably thinking, what's in the boxes? Records? No, seven-inch reel-to-reel tapes. Approximately 400 of those. I got all this for a hundred bucks. Let's try to go through here real quick and show you what I've got. All right, check this out. Sansui headphones in the box. Work really nice. Sound great. A bulk tape eraser. Uh, every time I find those, I buy them because they sell real easy on eBay. Uh, quad decoder. You know, it's just something I'm going to put in a rack, maybe to make it look cool. You know, I don't have any quad stuff. There's a Proline Frequency Energizer. It's just a EQ type of thing, I guess. I haven't tried either one of those out. And here's a little Audio Pulse time delay thing. Another thing that just looks cool. You know, I'll just add it into uh, some kind of vintage uh, display. Another piece of gear. This is Pioneer. Uh, cassette changer. You put six cassettes in there, line them all up that way. It'll play one after another. You can record after one after another. And it also has a single deck over here. The thing works. I tried that out. Works great. Uh, got a lot of cassettes, metal tapes, you know. A lot of these are still sealed. Sealed metal tapes. Good deal here. I mean, uh, I started kind of collecting cassettes too out of frustration of not being able to find records when I go garage selling or estate selling. And I try not to go buy too much of my stuff at record stores. I do buy stuff there. Uh, throw them a bone. I mean, they're nice people and everything. But it's a little bit more fun for me to try to find records at a garage sale or an estate sale or something like that. And uh, But uh, since I can't find the records, I started picking up different sealed cassette tapes. Just trying to start a big collection of those. And uh, got all these cassettes still sealed. They were all part of the $100 deal. A bunch of those. I bought a few 8-tracks uh, because I have a couple of 8-track changers now. A 5 8-track changer over there and a 3 8-track changer over there. I never saw one of those back in the day. I don't remember seeing those. So I uh, just need some 8-tracks now. Got a tape selector monitor. Got that one, another new one in the box. Clear telephone. I don't even have a hard line anymore. I hadn't had one for years, but I'll use that for decoration. I've got a couple of uh, tape head cleaning kits. Brand new, hadn't been opened. Record, metal record rack holder. I've got some beta tapes here. They're from NFL Films. Pretty cool. I mean, there's three different teams, like the best of the year. NFL films. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Gone with the Wind box set beta. You know, now I need a beta player. Don't have one of those. Speaker selector, I'll use that outside in my backyard and my shop back there to kind of zone some of my speakers. It'll probably won't be good for the amp, but uh, I use kind of a cheap system out there anyway. We've got a couple of underdash eight track tape players. You know, uh, put tapes in them and they spin and everything change the channel if it's anything's coming out audio wise I don't know I didn't check that out uh, because I also got a uh, power supply when there I was there and that works and there's another 8 track player maybe somebody will need these you know I, I kind of felt like I rescued those maybe, some, maybe somebody will need those uh, there's just a vintage Vaco wreck. I remember the, the, seeing the commercials of these back in the day. You put a record in there and it spins and it vacuums the record. I put a record in there and try that out. It works. I've got a uh, couple of battery chargers here. Nice soldering gun. Pioneer take up reel to reel. Uh, reel. 
It's uh, not metal, it's plastic, but it has Pioneer logo on there. I've bought metal ones in the past from estate sales, and uh, man, they sell quick and uh, for a lot of money too. So if you ever see metal take up reels, I'd buy those. Uh, a few RCA cables. Uh, what I miss here? Oh, and this thing right here. Bought this on a separate deal. I paid $25 for this DCC Digital Compact Cassette Player. Uh, $25. Bucks. The bad thing is, the lady I bought it from said it quit working about a month ago. I haven't plugged it in yet. Don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, but it came with 30-something DCC tapes, and 11 of which are still sealed. And uh, it came with this box too, you know, it's a pretty cool western looking thing, you know, it's probably something that'd go for a lot of money at an uh, antique store, but uh, it looks pretty cool. So uh, hopefully I at least can break even or not make a little bit of money selling those, but I want to keep it if it works. I'd like to have a different uh, form of media. And uh, I want to say something about that little portable Crosley record player I bought. I put this guitar strap on it, you know, and I carried it around with me at the uh, record convention. Man, this thing was so cool. It was easy to carry. It worked like a charm. Uh, got a lot of attention from everybody. I mean, this is probably be the next big craze for um, uh, crate diggers instead of carrying around the new mark thing that's like four times as big and weighs four times as much. But, uh, and oh, about the records. I got about $40 worth of records that I traded 15 reel to reels for. So uh, so my $100 haul here was really about like a $60 haul because I got $40 worth of records for 15 reel to reel tapes. Uh, here was three Betamax movies still sealed that I picked up too. And this video transfer thing, it's still new in there. It's still... Uh, all in the packaging, all the parts and everything in there. I have some old family 8mm movies I need to try to transfer really good. And hopefully that'll help. But uh, that is the uh, weird haul I made from the record convention. Very few records. Kind of wacky. But uh, that's it. That's what I got. Very few records from the record convention.